Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's First Chapter, and today I'm going to be reviewing these paint markers that I saw at Target. Uh, handmade modern paint markers. They claim uh, to have a chisel tip, so they're selling this as a as a paint marker that's good with uh, ceramic projects. Obviously, um, a lot of the paint markers that you know I use are meant to have different types or different purposes. Um, and primarily are not made to draw on paper uh, but that's primarily what I use paint markers for is sticky paper um, so that's where I'm going to be primarily testing these uh, my audience is um, mostly using these in the same way uh, but if they work good on paper I guarantee you they're probably gonna work better in uh, what they're made for this is a 12 count 12 markers um i believe they have like an 8 set and like a 16 uh set but i got the one that's in the middle in the middle uh 12 count multicolored. uh i'll probably go go around and do the the colors on here uh but this is a, this was about like 15 bucks um so about a little less than a dollar per marker in terms of price i think that this is a, a good good beginning uh price for those who are beginning to start uh, using paint marker so here's a here's the tip so it is it is quite which is weird to me because I actually never really let's see if I can get that focus it is a chisel tip so this one is get that to focus mm, dark denim Sp smoky quartz like a grayish grayish color just a white black C ceruline ceruline like a light blue aqua this is more like a, a blue light blue grayish and then it's like an aqua like a teal we have tangerine Cardinal, red, cinnamon, amethyst, amethyst, dandelion, like a yellow, it's like a little dark purple, and then a caterpillar, which is like a lime green color. So let's test this out. Like any marker, you just want to make sure you shake it, get the the paint point once again that chisel tip something that I really not used to in terms of um, in terms of paint markers I usually go with like a bullet tip okay in the dark areas it just goes over um, kind of absorbs really really like it's very watery not opaque whatsoever again i'm not surprised with the price it's just again 15 dollars for 12 markers yeah i mean you can tell it doesn't have a lot of paint in it either they're really light uh it actually sounds very empty um, they resemble in terms of material and and just made a lot of the to the craft smart um markers from michael's which is also a very cheap marker um, so I mean, this, I'm not really, you know, expecting a lot from these markers. <laughs> these are mostly going to be, I'm mostly going to end up using these as like background markers. But, so that's, a, I believe that was four now. It's getting there. It's still absorbing in the, in the dark areas a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I really like the chisel tip. Um, just because... You can get thicker lines, you can get thinner lines, and you can get even thinner lines. So, in terms of detail, this is good, which is something that sucks on like bullet nibs. It's always going to be the same, same thickness in the line, which is with chisel tips, which is why I respect the chisel tip, is because you can get a variety of different sizes, which is what's great about these markers is that they come in that chisel tip, uh, so you can kind of manipulate the line. This throwing sucks ass, but it's okay. I'm in an awkward position. Three. 
I really like this this purple too, it's like And I picked colors that are not like obviously this purple is a dark color. Um that blue was a little bit lighter. I'm not too I'm not too excited about using these light markers because I almost I'm almost 100 percent sure that they're not gonna work that great uh, in terms of the opac uh or how opaque they're gonna be. Here we go with the yellow. I mean yeah. Well I'm actually not not that disappointed in this yellow. I'm, I'm gonna say it's not a bad yellow. Obviously, it is going to require multiple times to go over dark areas, but it's a really nice show. I like it. Um, it's not it's not super strong. The decos definitely smell stronger than these, so that's kind of cool. We're in like a very small area uh, for indoors and stuff. This is a, not that bad in terms of smell, so I think that's that's something that you know if that's like a deal breaker for you. The smell's not that bad. probably purchase the other pastel colors yeah so overall if you're on a budget you're trying to get familiar with uh, paint markers trying to explore new color combinations with paint markers I definitely recommend these if you are professional and you're just looking for you know alternative markers for little details here and there do I recommend these yes uh, if you're the professional and you want high quality products uh, that are opaque, that can work good on paper, that can work good on different surfaces, do I recommend these products? No, just because you're a professional, you can probably maybe afford a little bit higher quality markers in which I think there's other better, op better high quality markers out there that you can purchase if you have the budget to do that. Uh, but overall, I'm not, I'm not mad at these. I'm not disappointed by these markers. Uh, for what I prayed, I think they're definitely worth it. Um, and I recommend that you give them a try and let me know what you think if you end up picking this up. So, with that said, thank you for watching. Stay fresh, stay dope, do art, don't do drugs. And yeah, I have a search of the week video planned and a little update with things that I've been uh, doing. So, yeah, peace out, everyone. <laughs>